episode 42.5 week 37 costs but before I get on to week 37's costs I thought I'd explain why I'm making these videos but before I can tell you why I really have to go through the history of the system so in 2012 we had a 4 kilowatt peak solar array installed and that solar array has netted us £14,213 since the up until the beginning of 2020. And in turn, this has allowed us to invest in more energy products, which will allow us to be more self-sustained, like buying the Tesla Powerwall 2. And which has allowed us to use 97% of our en own energy, what we've produced. And this has opened our eyes on being more sustainable so we've dumped the petrol and diesel cars and we've replaced them with the uh, e-golf and the tesla model 3 we've stopped burning gas for central heating so we've got an electric boiler and electric hot water system which has allowed us to not only save um, burning gas but we've also saved a lot of money and we've been more self-sustained so the real reason why we're we're doing this data collecting is basically to see where we can go next with our system is it better to buy double glazing or heat pumps or maybe even a v MVHR system um, as because as we close up the house with insulation in the walls and the loft um, you're more sustainable to you're more sustainable to collecting damp in the house so we have been looking at MVHR systems as well and that's been the main focus in doing these videos is so I can see where we're spending money and where we can save money for the future. So moving back on to week 37 costs, we'll, we'll start off on Monday the 7th of September. We had a cost of 60 pence for 9 kilowatt hours with an average cost of 6.67 pence per kilowatt hour. On Tuesday the 8th of September we had a cost of 97 pence for 14.64 kilowatt hours with an average cost of 6.62 pence per kilowatt hour. On Wednesday the 9th of September we had a cost of £2.39 for 34.95 kilowatt hours with an average cost of 6.83 pence per kilowatt hour. On Thursday the 10th of September we had a cost of 64 pence for 8.75 kilowatt hours with an average cost of 7.3 pence per kilowatt hour. On Friday the 11th of September we've had a cost of 87 pence for 10.83 kilowatt hours with an average cost of 8 pence per kilowatt hour. And moving on to Saturday the 12th of September the weekend we had a cost of 97 pence for 14.03 kilowatt hours with an average cost of 6.95 pence per kilowatt hour. And on Sunday the 13th of September we had a cost of £1.30 for 36.28 kilowatt hours with an average cost of 3.95 pence per kilowatt hour. So totalling up the costs for week 37 we've come to £7.74 and when you include the VAT and the daily charge that brings the cost to £9.59 and the costs up until week 37 of 2020 are 447 pounds and 48 pence the averages for the week are 7.4 pence from what we pulled from the grid and that's including VAT and daily charge and when you include what we've generated from the solar that brings the average price down to 4.5 pence per kilowatt hour and the yearly averages are 5.8 pence from what we've drawn from the grid and 3.4 pence including the solar and to summarise up until week 37, we've now done 3,895 miles charged from home. We've imported 7,299 kilowatt hours. We've had a solar contribution of 3,283 kilowatt hours. So that's a total of 10,582 kilowatt hours at a cost of £447.48. We've had a gas cost of £53.09 for the hob, the gas hob, that's the only thing we use the gas for. So we've had a total utility bill of £500.57. We've had three FIT payments totaling 
pounds and 53 pence so we've now got a utility balance of minus 1232 pounds and 96 pence including VAT and daily charge thanks for watching if you've got any questions or comments please add it to the section below and please like and subscribe